Recently, my colleague 10X Income talked about a new hot and low competitive niche on Etsy, printable flashcards for kids' education. When I come across such products, I can't resist automating their creation. So I wrote a Python bot that will automatically generate these flashcards, and I'm sharing it with you absolutely for free. Nice. Even if you have no knowledge of programming, using this ready-made code, you will be able to generate hundreds of professionally designed flashcards in just a few seconds. All you need to do is fill in the data table, set the required parameters, and run the code. The bot is fully customizable, with over 50 parameters that can be adjusted, so none of your flashcard designs will be the same. You will outperform your competitors in this niche with the speed and volume of flashcard creation while maintaining the highest design quality. Now let's head over to Canva Free Printable Flashcard Maker using this link and take a look at the flashcard templates. What if I told you that my bot can recreate any of these templates and create many others? So forget about the routine in Canva. Now Flashcard Bot will take care of the creativity for you. I'm confident that with this bot, you will conquer the flashcard market and make a lot of money. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, make sure to watch it until the end because I'll share with you how to prepare the generated files for printing before uploading them to platforms like Etsy. And in the next video, we'll create a coloring book generator for Amazon. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into installing the bot. Part one, installing the bot. Create a new project in PyCharm and name it Flashcard Bot. Next, download the bot files using the link provided in the description and move them to the project folder. Next, open the terminal and execute the command to install the necessary libraries, which are specified in the requirements txt file. As usual, for image generation, we will use the pillow library. The installation is complete. Now let's prepare the images and texts for generating our flashcards. Part two, preparing images and texts. There are two ways to obtain the necessary images. First, you can generate images using Midjourney. The entire process is explained in this video by 10x Income. The second method is to download the required images from the Creative Abrica website. And today, I'll explain this approach to you. By using the link in the description, you can make a few downloads for free and receive other pleasant bonuses and discounts. So head over to the Creative Abrica website and enter your search query in the search bar. Choose the images you like, make sure they have a commercial license, and download the files. Next, unzip the archive and move the images to the images folder of our project. Then open the folder, select the images, and copy their file paths. Now, open the data CSV file and paste the file paths into the first column. Then fill the second column with the text that should be displayed on the corresponding flashcard. If you need the text to be displayed both at the top and bottom, fill in the third column. Images and texts are now prepared, and we are ready to run the bot. Part three, settings and running the bot. Our bot consists of three files, config, flashcard, and main PY files. The main PI file serves as the entry point for our application from where we will run it. The flashcard PI file contains the implementation of the application and its main functions. In the config PI file, all variables for modifying the flashcard design are collected, the settings in the config file affect the design of all flashcards. If you want to set design settings for each card individually, you can do it in the data CSV table. You want to change the fonts? Download the desired fonts and place them in the fonts folder. Then in the settings, specify the paths to these fonts. When it comes to color settings, you have the flexibility to use either six digit hex codes or common color names. In Python's image library, you can utilize color names as described on the Stack Overflow page. If only the first column in the data CSV table is filled, the text will be displayed at the top of the flashcard by default. You can adjust its top margin using this variable. To move the text to the bottom, change the value of this variable to true. If you want the text to appear both at the top and bottom of the flashcard, fill the third column of the data CSV table with the desired text. The settings for the rectangle below the text are controlled by variables. With the word plane in their names, you have the flexibility to enable or disable this rectangle, set it to full width or as a stripe, change its color, borders, corner radius, and even disable specific corners. If you need to overlay an image on the background of your flashcard, assign this variable a value of true and place the images in the backgrounds folder. FlashcardBot will randomly select an image from this folder as the background. Alternatively, 
you can specify the path to the background image directly in the data CSV table. If the variable is set to false, the background will be a solid color fill of the specified color. You can even enable the selection of a random color by adding the desired colors to the colors list. When it comes to the central image, there's no need for manual resizing. The bot will handle it automatically while preserving the aspect ratio. Just assign true to this variable and specify the size change for one of the sides of the image here. You can align the image to the center or adjust the margins using these variables. We won't discuss all the settings here as it would take too much time. All variables have clear names, so I'm sure you will figure them out on your own. Feel free to experiment. If you encounter any issues or have questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Part four, preparation for upload and printing. To upload images to online stores, you'll need to save the files in the PDF ready to print format. The simple PDF format that Python can save files in won't suffice for this purpose. So, I'll show you how to prepare the files correctly. You can do this in Canva or in programs like Adobe Illustrator or Adobe InDesign. In Adobe InDesign, you can do this in bulk. And I'll show you how in the next video when we generate and prepare hundreds of coloring book pages for Amazon. For now, I'll demonstrate how to do it in Adobe Illustrator. Launch Illustrator and create a file of the desired size. Standard flashcards are typically three by five or five by seven inches. Set the PBI value to 300, then place the generated flashcard file onto the artboard and align it to the center. Next, open the export menu and select export for screens. Choose the PDF format and click on the settings icon for export formats. Select PDF and choose the Adobe PDF preset high quality print and save the settings. Now perform the export and your file is ready for printing. If you need to arrange multiple flashcards on one artboard, create a larger artboard and place several flashcards. In Canva, the process is similar. Create the file, place and align the flashcards and then export it in ready to print PDF format. I hope you enjoyed this video and flashcard bot which I wrote for you will help you earn a lot of money. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to help you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. In the next video, we'll be generating coloring book pages for Amazon.